Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to write a unit test case for property binding. In the previous video, where we have discussed how to write a unit test case for interpolation. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch part 23 of this tutorial series. So let's understand like how we write the uh, unit test for the property binding. So as we discussed like interpolation where like uh, it's basically a one-way data binding so if we make any changes into the component variable and same if we have assigned uh, in the html dom element then it reflects same into the html dom element as well so interpolation and property binding is both are the one-way data binding but the major difference is that like if you are going to assign any value to the non-string type then we should always use the property binding in a bit we will see like what is the meaning of the, um, this one so like so basically like what i'm trying to say is interpolation is a special syntax that angular convert into the property binding or we can say like uh, interpolation we write using the pair of the square bracket that we have seen in the previous video so now let's go to the visual studio and as per the previous uh, like video what we have done like if i will go with this uh, dom element and that is the input type so here like we have we are using the type and the placeholder using the interpolation now what if i take a one more pro property here called read only now in this read only if i define it's so if i defined here this read only property from the component so here what i am going to write i am going to take like user read only equal to false now if i will copy it and i assign it here so now let's first run the ng serve so in this case what i have done like so currently read only is false means this input uh, parameter like uh, this particular field should be editable and we should able to write the um, write something uh, inside this input um, field so let's see after running like we, we are able to edit it or not so here we can see like our uh, application is run uh, running successfully and here we have given like read only as a interpolation in the double quotes now let's go on the browser and we can see like still this read only is false but we are not able to make any changes in this and the reason is because this interpolation always return a string so now if user uh, read only here is false so this false it is returning in the string format but like read only is basically by default value of the read only is always a true so that's why it is not able to identify as a false in a string format so it is taking it default value as a true that's why we are not able to make the changes to this one so to get rid of this one like it's always recommended like if we are using any property then for this one we should always use the property binding and for using the property binding what we have to do first we have to get rid of this double quotes and here we have to use the square brackets so now at point of this time if you will save this one and we'll go on the browser and let's refresh it so once we click on this one and we can see like now we are able to make the changes to this one like it is now not read only so this is the way of using the uh, like property binding in angular so now if what if i will make it as a true now in this case if i will make it as a true and uh, now let's go on the browser so we can see now we are not able to make the changes to this one so let's make it again as a false and now the unit test case will be the uh, same like whatever we are using here it will be the same there will not be any extra so for this one like for writing a unit test case what we have to do so, uh, so first we have to get the uh, like dom element so that we have done already here so we are continuing with the previous example which we 
work there so now here what i will do i will expect and next what we have to write input well dot read only and dot true be false so basically like we have assigned here um, the property as a false that's why we are checking with the to be false so now if i will save at point of this time and what we have to do first we have to run the test case so let's run this test case so that is the ng test and let's save this also and now we can see here like our test case is passing so basically what we have uh, checking here like the read only it's like dot to be falsy because we have assigned this read uh, read only as a falsy so like using the dom element we are checking this one so now let's go, if we'll go on browser and we can see like our test case is passing successfully so this is the way of using and or the writing a unit test case for the property binding so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you